Okay, so currently it's like 4 a.m. and I can't sleep, so I'm going to get something done today. Uh, some of you might remember this computer from a few years ago. I actually set it up, uh, put some more RAM in it, and gave it to my mom. It's been her main computer for actually a few years. And considering it's a 2007 Dell Optiplex 745, that's pretty impressive. But recently it's developed an issue where it's becoming super hot, mainly on this fax section. Now, if you know computers, or you have a mild, uh, shall we say, rudimentary understanding of them, you know this probably means that the thermal paste is bad on it. So, Today I'm going to be taking this thing apart and pulling the thermal paste out of it and showing you how to do it. It's basically going to be the same thing if you want to upgrade the CPU to. I think these can take a Core 2 Quad in it right now. This one has a Core 2 Duo. My mom doesn't really need any more than that. Considering she's not exactly a power user. So let me set up the tripod and let's get to work. Okay, so now to actually get this uh, cover off is super simple. These old Dell Optiplexes are probably some of the easiest computers to work on. Pull this one out right here, just like so. Up. Now that you're inside, you can basically see everything. This computer actually doesn't look too dusty. Now this right here is a CPU cooler. To get to this, you need to actually take out two screws. One screw here, the other screw right here. You can actually see the screw right there. And the other one's going to be right on this side. To get to that screw, what you need to do is pull this one up right here. And then push the DVD uh, tray in. Lift up. And pull off to the side. Now both screws are exposed. First screw out on this side. Second screw right here. One thing I also love about this computer, there's actually instructions on how to do it right here. Now just lift it up. And there it is. Yeah, you can see the thermal paste is pretty much completely solid and not really acting as thermal paste anymore so I'm going to wipe that off with some alcohol and reapply some arctic silver and again you can see on the PC itself it's pretty much solid right on now if you want to upgrade the CPU all you need to do is push this up right here turn this right here looks like you'll have to get the hard drive cage out to get this have to go all the way down that way but I'm not in the mood to do that right now so now normally I would say use a lymph free cloth and all that but I don't really have one at the moment and I'm definitely not going to go out to get one so I'm going to be using this and just be very careful this little towel I'm, and I'm going to be very careful to not leave any uh, residue this computer actually has no dust in it wow There really is almost no dust in this thing. Wow. That's kind of impressive. Anyway, we'll be really careful to not leave any length from this towel behind on this. You're probably going to be better off using like a coffee strainer or something. It is also really amazing just how well built these old Dell computers are. Yeah, this should be clean enough. And now do the CPU. Now the general consensus when applying thermal paste is to use a piece sized dab in the center of the actual CPU. That tends to differ with larger CPUs like an Intel Xeon or a Threadripper, but for like most normal CPUs, a piece sized dab will do fine. In this case, I'm using Arctic Silver's MX4 thermal compound. I've had pretty good luck with it. I've put it on a ton of different computers, never had overheating issues or anything like that afterwards, and they perform pretty cool either way. Just to put it back in, just Clip it onto these little two hooks right here. On either side. One. Now just tighten the screws. Okay, that's nice and tight in there. Now to replace the CD drive, all you need to do is one flip it so it's facing the right way. Lift this little prong thing up. Pop it right in there and push forward till it's aligned with this. Then push this down just like that. Then push on there, make sure it's not loose. And the computer is back together.
There we go. Now, I'm going to be working on this other Dell 745, uh, this little larger tower PC right here. Uh, mainly to test it out on a bunch of different games. So I'm downloading everything I have from my uh, Threadripper, or the same library, right? Mm -hmm. I kind of want to see if I can get this thing to run Grand Theft Auto on a Core 2 Duo, like a Radeon 5450 that's classically cool, and a bunch of other stuff. Because I want to benchmark it on everything it's got now, because I just got a uh, Sapphire, what was it, RX 470 that used to be a mining card. I'll flash that to a gaming BIOS and see how it does. But that's going to be the next video. Anyway, if you like this video, guys, hit like. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit subscribe and do whatever else you do on the internet.